Hey friends! Today we're going to do a wrap up of my 2020 most anticipated releases. <laughs> Last year's video I made a list of 12 most anticipated releases. I read most of them but not all of them so really was I anticipating them or not? Who knows? Not me. So we're gonna go over the books that were on my list, if I read them, if I didn't read them, and if I did read them what I rated them to find out how well I know my own reading tastes. The first book that was on my list was The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third and what I thought was the final book in the Truly Devious series, but since this book came out, there's another book coming out next year. Didn't know that, now I do. I ended up giving this a 4.75 out of 5 stars and it didn't end up being on my favorites of the year list, so. Also I should mention I will be linking in the description box below all of my reviews on Goodreads if you want to know my full thoughts about them. A lot of them I've read at the beginning of the year so it's kind of hard to remember everything. Next was Chosen by Kirsten White. This is the second book in the Slayer series and I did not read this one yet, so. I have nothing to say. Next we have Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Last Hours trilogy and I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars and I am super excited for the next book that's coming out later this year. We then have Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and I have not read this one yet. Uh, even people that liked the first one didn't necessarily love this one so I didn't really rush to pick it up. I will at some point but just wasn't in quite the hurry that I thought I might be. We then have Well Played by Jen DeLuca. I had an arc of this. I read it. I loved it. I gave this a 4.75 out of 5 stars and it also was on my favorites of the year list. Speaking of things that were on my favorites of the year list, The Tower of Nero, The Trials of Apollo book 5. This is the finale of the series by Rick Riordan. I gave this a 4.75 out of 5 stars as well. Sweet Cute by Emma Lord. I gave this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. The next one I have not read yet and that is Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. This one actually just came out late November, early December, so I just haven't got a chance to get to it yet. Fable by Adrienne Young. I gave this a 4.75 out of 5 stars. It also was on my favorites at the era list and I also am highly anticipating the next book in this series. We then have two books from the same series, The Lost City and The Morning Flower by Amanda Hawking. These are part of the Omti Origin series, books 1 and 2, and I gave these both a 4.25 out of 5 stars. And then the final book on this list is The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and I gave this a 2.75 out of 5 stars. What did we learn? So a lot of the books that were on my list were either from authors that I've read before or were parts of series that I have already read. So the majority of them, knowing that they were on my most anticipated releases list, I read them, I enjoyed them, with the exception of Southern Book Club. And just was not my jam. I didn't enjoy it. I kind of liked I have read from Grady Hendrix before and I read uh, My Best Friend's Exorcism which I liked but I did find to be a little boring just because I feel like if you didn't know a lot about exorcisms that it would be interesting but for someone who knows a lot about exorcisms why do I know a lot about exorcisms I don't really know but I do and so it just felt like or I guess not exorcisms themselves but possession so with knowing the things that I know about possession it didn't make it feel like quite as creepy as it would have so with Southern Book Club it just it again didn't have that creep factor that I was expecting. It was a little creepy but not a lot and it just a lot of it was really boring so I don't know if I'll be picking up Grady Hendrix in the future but for everyone else I think I did a really good job of knowing what I was going to enjoy. Again almost all of them are either parts of a series or from an author that I've read before and loved so not that you know hard to tell if I'm going to enjoy something but I definitely think I did a good job on last year's list and next year's list will be coming up very soon and you may see some of these authors again. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week so if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future make sure you hit both the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>